So it was about a month later, the phone rang and uh, it was the production company and they were having a rap party for cast and crew. Uh, for the whole month it had been raining, the El Nino caught them trapped and I'm pretty sure they didn't have the movie that they wanted. But So they were having this thing, it was in Santa Monica. I said, okay, I'll go. I asked Julie, she said no, she wasn't interested. So I hopped into the flying coffin drove in the rain and uh, got down there and I was surprised it was a little Mexican bar restaurant a little light in the thing cerveza I'm like oh this is cool and I walked in I didn't recognize nobody the makeup people weren't there I had heard they had gotten a divorce um, just basically crew and crew attends these things because it's kind of like a perk for their pay, for their long hours and all of that. And so they gave me a, a couple tokens for two beers and a coupon to get a meal. And uh, I had to make a note. I said, they serve New Mexico style enchiladas here. I'm going, ah. So I found me a dark corner and I'm sitting there and they started a slideshow. And about every third slide was me in my fabulous, tree limb costume and blood and mud all over me and um, it kind of cracked me up. And they had a jukebox that played British Invasion. Fantastic. And uh, a woman comes over and said, uh, this is my daughter. And I said, hello. And she goes, um, she wants to get into acting. Do you have any advice for her? And like I am, I said, be true to your art. You know, be true to your art. And then she asked, wanted to know, was it hard to carry a film? And I said, well, the production company kind of makes sure there's no unforeseen problems so I can be, transform myself into that character. And, <laughs> and then she asked, can I have my picture taken with you? And I said, sure. So they took my picture, and I got my coat, and my Levi jacket, I wandered into the dark, Gave some people some hugs and stuff. And with the rain and stuff, I was feeling a little melancholy. And I got in the flying coffin, started it up, turned the radio on, and there was uh, Bob Dylan singing Sad-Eyed Lady of the Lowlands. And it made me think of the when I learned to play it on the guitar that I called up this one woman and got her answering machine and sang the whole song over the phone, you know. So melancholy was the rule of the evening. And then